get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr speaker sir we are considering the appropriation bill with reference to the supplementary grants i was hoping that at least one honorable member would refer at least to one item in the supplementary grants and make some concrete suggestions but i was disappointed i would request honorable members to bear in mind that we have to follow the rules of debate at least to some extent it is not as if the minister can answer any point at any time we come prepared with reference to the subject matter which is to be discussed so honorable members should not feel sorry if i am unable to reply to some points raised here i am grateful to the deputy leader of the opposition for his constructive speech after all we are interested in the welfare of the people and all of us are eager that our country should prosper we want that the various needs of the people should be met in the method of doing this there may be difference of opinion in regard to certain matters but it should not stand in the way of our cooperating where we agree one honorable member referred to the need for improving irrigation facilities i may inform him that we are anxious to increase production of food grains the government will do their best to increase food production if as a matter of fact food production can be increased in any part of the country by a simple scheme as suggested by him we will look into the matter then as regards bus transport he referred to the attitude of the conductors towards passengers i do not know how far his charge is true i agree that there are certain people not only in transport service but in other walks of life also who are unpleasant to other persons but i may tell the honorable member that if there are bad people in transport service they should be looked if he had brought to the notice of the government specific instances we could have taken action but he made only a general charge i now come to the subject of loud speakers when one meeting is addressed by one party and another meeting which is held just nearby is addressed by another party if loud speakers are installed it will result in shouting and confusion it is our intention in permitting the use of loud speakers that they should cause the least inconvenience to others it is only with this object in view that the use of loud speakers is regulated the government will not stand in the way if meetings are held in a peaceful manner subject to this condition we give full freedom to speech and to write anything in newspapers we do not object to these things but some restrictions are necessary to maintain law and order and to see that there is no breach of peace it is only from that point of view that certain restrictions are imposed and they are in the interest of the community as a whole if it is possible to make any relaxation i shall gladly do it we do not stand in the way of peaceful propaganda and the propagation of opinion by peaceful methods i thank the honorable members for having cooperated with me and the government and for having made useful suggestions during the debate 
we can take pride in the fact that our debate has been at a high level. I am sure that any stranger who has watched our proceeding will give a certificate to that effect. Letter from Ganesh Food Stores, Mumbai to the Indian Biscuit Company, Pune. Dear Sirs, we are very sorry to inform you that we have received a number of complaints from our customers to the effect that on opening the tins of cream biscuits sent by you, they found that the contents were in a very broken condition. In this connection, we may tell you that your consignment of these biscuits was delivered to us on 8th June. As soon as it was received, the boxes containing the tins were opened by our men in our presence and at that time there were no signs of damage. We therefore assume that when the goods left you, they were already in a damaged state. We can sell these biscuits easily if they are up to the standard, but we think you will agree that their appearance and conditions are also important in the same manner as their taste. So, we are worried about the grievances of our customer. It is our usual practice to supply sound goods in exchange for the defective ones which are returned to us by our customers. But in this connection, we are not able to decide whether we should follow this practice when we think that the substitute goods may not be in any better condition. So, we shall be pleased if you let us know how you can help us out of our difficulty. Yours faithfully.